Hey y'all, welcome to Season with Love. I'm KC. Welcome to my kitchen. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a blessed day. You know, I got some greens here today, y'all. Making good old fashioned collard greens. You know, I got some pork belly. I ain't doing no smoked turkey or none of that. You know, I know everybody wanna eat healthy and do turkey and this and that. But I'm making some good old fashioned pork seasoned collard greens y'all today on season with love i'm gonna show y'all how i cut them up how i lay them up get them all cut up i got about one two three four five bunches here i'm gonna get them washed get them cut up bagged up i'm making these collard greens y'all on season with love all right y'all this is how i do my greens and greens are very dirty so what i'm gonna do i don't wash my greens first I cut them up first, so I know I'm getting all the dirt from out of the inside and everything. I feel like when you wash them all whole leaves like this, you don't get all the dirt out. So I like to cut them up first, get all my dirt out and everything, you know. What I do is I remove the stem by just pinching around the stem like this. You can use a knife and all that. I just feel like it's a little time consuming for me. I just pinch around the stem a little bit like this. Pinch around the stem and get my greens off. I don't like too much stem. Some people like to leave a little stem. I don't leave none of that. Sometimes I just slide my greens off of the stem. You know, a little thing my mama taught me, just slide the stem right out. Give it a nice pull, slide it out. If you can't get it out, then you just go ahead and pinch it off. You know, I'm gonna continue to slide these greens off and stack them up. And I'm gonna show you how I cut them. These greens, they ain't too pretty. But this old Walmart had for me. <laughs> so I'm working with what I got, y'all. You know, I'm working with what I got. Or what they have for me, rather. Take my pile of greens. Roll them up. Any small ones, little bits. Put them in the middle right there. Pretty much like everybody else do it. Then I cut them up. I don't cut them too small. I don't cut them too big. Let's get, let's get them cut up. Oh, not with this knife. I'm gonna need another knife, y'all. Not, not cutting good enough. Man. All right. Much better. And you see, you, when these you get these little nice little ribbons, okay, of greens. You see, that's gonna cook beautifully. I'm gonna get the rest of these greens cut up. I'm gonna get back with you. All right, y'all, out them five bunches of green. I didn't cut them all up. I got them in this bag here. Now we cooking these for Sunday dinner, y'all. I'm gonna get them washed up and in the sink and soaking in a little salt and vinegar water. I like to soak them in a the full sink, let all the sand and dust. This is all we got out of them five bunches. Not that much, it's a small bag. Hey y'all, all right. So we got these greens in the sink. We're gonna hit them off with a little bit of vinegar. You know, enough of vinegar. You know, get those, get that in there, just some vinegar. We got some regular old table salt. We're gonna clean these greens up with, okay? We're gonna let these greens soak. We'll let all the sand and the dirt that any green pour to the bottom of this sink. This is why we're filling up this sink, filling up this water. You know, let these greens wash in here. We're gonna scrub these greens around, get them nice and cleaned up. Ooh, that was so Nice, y'all. Uh, we get these greens washed up, we're gonna be back. I want to show y'all this pork belly cooking with these greens today and I ordered fat back <laughs> from Walmart you see they charged me $11.77 for this premium pork belly doesn't have skin or nothing but so this is what I using today to cook my greens in y'all I got it right here I'm running down and medium heat I'm gonna run down all the fat out this out this uh, pork so I can get some of them greases and some of them flavors, you know. It's cut really thick, thick. You know. 
Y'all know what I'm talking about. Cut really thick. Let me show y'all. See, look how thick that is. That's not no regular slice of uh, 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 fat batch or bacon or nothing or no thick cut bacon. That's 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 uh, pork belly right there, y'all. You see that? I'm gonna go ahead and get this rendered down. I got my greens in the pot, y'all. This might look like a lot of greens, but it's really not. Greens cook down. You know, they cook down to nothing. So, I'm gonna get these greens. I'm gonna cover this up with the lid. Get it cooked down, y'all. I'm gonna add my pork back in here. My pork belly. And then I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna season these greens with when we come back. All right, y'all. Y'all can see these greens have wilted down. Now, this pork belly that we're using is not salted. It doesn't have any salt on this pork belly. This is not fat bat, salted fat bat, or salted bacon of anything. That's just my, my microwave, y'all, making me some tea. So this is just uh, not don't have any salt in it. So we're going to have to season this accordingly. So I'm going to go ahead, first thing I'm going to add is some chicken broth. I'm going to add this whole uh, 32 ounces of chicken broth, y'all. Okay, I'm going to get that in there. That's 32 ounces of chicken broth. All right. I'm going to add some black pepper. I'm gonna add some, just a pinch of crushed red pepper flakes. I ain't trying to make it too spicy, just a pinch. Okay. I'm gonna add some all-purpose seasoning. You can use Lowry, seasonal, whatever you prefer, about two tablespoons of that, because there's no salt in this pork. I'm gonna add some garlic powder, some onion powder. I'm gonna add some vinegar. About two tablespoons. I'm also gonna add y'all uh, tablespoon of just plain old white sugar. It's not gonna make it sweet. You're not gonna have sweet greens. I don't like sweet greens either. We just is just for balance. To balance out all those seasonings we put in there. Now. I'm also gonna add. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna fill it, cover my greens with water, okay? Because I'm gonna add. Uh, also, I have a pack of low sodium chicken bouillon. I'm adding here, okay? My Goya concentrated ham seasoning. So now by adding that water, it's just like we adding a ham broth. Mix with that chicken broth. Yeah, y'all, these greens are gonna be so good. You know what I mean? I'm gonna finish this off with some water. Right, cause y'all remember this pork. Now, if you're using salted pork, watch how much of your seasoned salt you put it in there. Now, I'm gonna go back and taste my pot liquor, of course, and uh, season and adjust to my liking once you know we cook down a little bit more i suggest you guys do the same season to your liking and adjust and to your own taste you know what i'm saying i'm just giving you a base and you take that recipe and you make it your own okay so that you will be enjoying your greens as much as i know i'm gonna be enjoying mine y'all we're making collard greens this sunday on season with love all right y'all i'm checking on these greens i didn't check it for seasoning now that we brought this up to a boil, we got our pot liquor seasoned the way we like it and we want it. Everything is seasoned accordingly. We're going to let this boil. You know, greens take a, a very long time to get tender, despite what you might have heard. Greens take hours. I'm going to turn these greens down to a medium. I'm going to cover them and I'm going to simmer them. I'm going to come back and check them every hour for tenderness, okay? I'm going to let y'all know at the end of the video 
approximately how long it took me to get these greens super tender. Because we want our greens super tender. We don't want them mushy. Okay? Some people like them a little more toothy than others. We want them like in the middle. Okay? So, I'm going to cook these greens. And I'm going to be back with y'all. Let y'all know exactly how long they cook. Y'all, these collard greens are done. Let's see how much they cook down. Cook down to nothing. All them greens that I had piled up to the top of this pot, they cook down to nothing. Okay, these are ready. I'm gonna cut them off. I just wanted y'all to let y'all know I let them cook for about three hours and 20 minutes. They're super tender, delicious. Y'all already put bowl some up over here. Hmm. Y'all look at them greens, y'all. Y'all, them greens is amazing. You know, y'all see them right there. They tender, they delicious, and they not mushy. You know, look at that. That's our uh, pork belly, not salted pork. Okay, that's not cured meat. That's just straight up pork belly. Okay, y'all see these greens? Y'all go and get y'all some of them greens. Them greens is tender, delicious, not mushy. Three and a half hours, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Those are good. Y'all put y'all some of that hot sauce up over here. Mmm. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. On Season with Love. Y'all have a blessed day. I gotta go, y'all. I'm hungry. I'm about to enjoy some of these greens. And get ready to feed my family on this Sunday, okay? God bless y'all.